Hey guys, this is Luke from Green Fox. Last video, you guys saw our duck cleaning 101 for the spider duck system. Today, we're gonna be doing a, a follow-up video for duck cleaning 102 with a trunk line system. So when designing an HVAC duck system, the two really only options you have are the spider system and the trunk line system. The spider system is a more modern and flexible approach. Air supply starts at the plenum and then spiders off via the flex duct, which branches out like the legs of a spider and runs to the individual vents in each room. This is a more flexible option as the flex duct tube is not rigid and it's e easier to install and easier to move around any obstructions in the attic. The other system is a trunk and run system, also known as trunk line. The trunk and run system starts in a main trunk that leads to several other branches or runs of that main trunk. Each branch is made out of duckboard. The trunk and run can be more labor intensive and time consuming. It can provide a better R value or insulation value. However, the trunk and run systems have pretty much gone out of style in attics and homes nowadays because they have become much tighter, smaller spaces. In summary, the spider system offers a more economic and flexible install for tighter attics, while the trunk and run system may be, in theory, more rigid or last longer. In this, this home that we're working in right now has a trunk and run system, so we're gonna show you how we approach cleaning that step by step. All right, so our process for a trunk line duct cleaning, pretty much the same as a spider duct cleaning we start with floor protection and plastic. Put those down to keep any dust or debris away from the owner's furniture or any valuable items in the hat. After we do that, we remove all the cans. This is what the, or we remove all the vents. This is what the can looks like without the vent. Take those vents outside, clean them off with soap. And while some of those cleaning them off with soap, we have some come in and vacuum the inside of the cans. And in this case, the entire trunk line with the HEPA vacuum, get that nice and clean. After we vacuum the cans in the trunk line, we hook up our negative air machine to the duct system and feed in a 20 to 30 foot uh, rotating brush head to kind of stir up anything that we couldn't reach by hand with the uh, vacuum. And then after that, the duct system should be pretty clean of any dust or debris, so we run through and we encapsulate it with our IQ 8000 encapsular. After that, we just seal up the duct system, put the vents back on, clean up the floors, and we are out. What I'm doing right here is cutting into the trunk line. That way we can access the downstairs duct system. We're gonna cut open holes throughout this whole trunk, vacuum, whip, and then encapsulate. So this is what a trunk line system looks like. This runs probably about eight feet down that way and then banks to the right and about five feet this way into the actual anander. So what we do to clean this trunk system is I'm gonna cut holes into this trunk line about every two feet so we can get in there and get every, every inch of it with our vacuums, our whip, and the encapsulant. All right, now we got everything vacuumed out, the cans and the trunk. So our next step is to hook up negative air and then whip out all the trunk line. This system is a little difficult because we have a upstairs and a downstairs feed from the trunk line. So what we're gonna do is kind of break it in two. We're gonna block off right here. We're gonna block off the upstairs from the downstairs. So we have better suction from our negative air machine and we can get more of that 
dust and debris out of the duct system. So we're just gonna put a piece of duct board or a cardboard plug right here so that our negative air machine is only pulling air from half the duct system and not the entire trunk line. Yes. Yeah, so this is our negative air machine. This is what gives us the negative air pressure and sucks that dust and debris out of the duct system. All right, so our next step is encapsulation. We use this paint sprayer here, put it in a bucket of IQ 8000. This is our Schmitz encapsulant for duct systems. What we do is we go into the plenums and the cans and we spray on with this paint sprayer a thick layer of this white encapsulant. And what that does is it both soaks into the duckboard and creates a new lining for the duckboard. And it also is a antimicrobial encapsulant, so it kills any leftover microbial growth. All right, so after we encapsulate the trunk line, this is a section of our trunk line here. What we do is we have to reseal the holes so, see, we have to reseal these holes. What we do is we use spray blue around the perimeter and then tape over it with uh, foil tape and then brush over it with a uh, water-based mastic seal. And then at that point, our ducts are seal flecty. All right, now that Poopin is the camp slave, all we have to do is put a vents and clean up. The house is smelling nice and fresh. So this is doing a duck clean with the trunks of it. Green box out, like and subscribe.